Welcome back to Paper Highlighter. Today, we're diving into the roller coaster life of Scott Wern from 90 Day Fiancé Love in Paradise Season 3. This guy went from love to villainy in record time, so let's unpack what happened to him after the show. Scott Wern from Asterisk 90 Day Fiancé Love in Paradise has emerged as one of the franchise's most notorious villains since his relationship with Pedro Jimeno's mother, Lydia Morel, in Season 3. The Florida resident initially connected with Lydia, who was from the Dominican Republic, through an introduction from her daughter's boyfriend, Alejandro. Scott made the journey to meet Lydia in person during the spin-off. Although previously married, the respiratory therapist typically dated younger women and even rekindled a relationship with an ex named Liz after parting ways with Lydia, citing communication issues. Scott quickly became a polarizing figure, with his villainous antics overshadowing the previous behavior of Chantelle Everett's mother-in-law. While Lydia had the opportunity to redeem herself, Scott faced backlash for his controversial actions on social media. His arrogance rubbed asterisk 90 Day Fiancé fans the wrong way, especially when he returned in season 5 of asterisk The Family Chantel asterisk, where he was involved in a physical altercation with Pedro. Although Scott and Lydia have since split, this self-proclaimed bad boy continues to attract attention for his antics. Scott asked Tiffany Franco out on a date. In June 2023, Reddit user Different Falcon shared a video from Scott's Instagram where he was seen lying shirtless on his couch, asking Tiffany out on a date. In the video, Scott expressed his admiration for beautiful Tiffany and mentioned that he wanted the opportunity to get to know her better. He assured her that he handled rejection well and wouldn't continue to to pursue her if she wasn't interested. I do have like a little crush on you, Scott confessed, suggesting he could drive to meet her and asking her to think it over. Although Tiffany entertained Scott's advances for a time, she ultimately clarified that she was not interested and was seeing someone else. After this encounter, Scott shifted his attention to Amanda Wilhelm, sparking romance rumors between them. However, Scott faced financial difficulties and filed for bankruptcy in June 2023 after losing his job, prompting him to seek help for money and housing, Amanda offered him her basement as a temporary solution, and in a show of gratitude, Scott asked her to be his valentine, to which she agreed. Despite the playful teasing, Scott and Amanda were never officially dating, and Amanda is now engaged to another man. Scott announced his exit from the franchise. In May 2024, Scott announced via a concerning post that he was severing ties with the show. He cautioned his critics against sharing his content in their groups and insisted they could find clickbait elsewhere. Scott emphasized that he wasn't desperate to grow his social media following and wanted to prevent his name from being used as clickbait, prompting his decision to withdraw from the franchise. Although he has since deleted the post, Scott continues to socialize with other asterisk 90-day fiancé cast members, including Corey Rathgeber, Evelyn Villegas, and Angela Deem. Scott sparked romance rumors with Angela Deem. Scott met Angela and her daughters, Scotty and Skyla, in April 2024, and the trio filmed a playful video where they were dirty dancing too. I've had the time of my life igniting romance rumors. While Scott clarified that he considers Angela like a sister, their friendship has only grown stronger over time. He is one of the few asterisk 90 day fiance cast members supporting Angela amid her ongoing legal battle with Michael. In August 2024, blogger Alexa Pomegranate 90 Day shared a video in which Scott accused Michael of using funds from his GoFundMe to purchase a Mercedes. This claim led to Kim accusing Scott of being racist. 